What's up guys? Mark here. We're getting near the end of August. Today is the 29th and it's starting to cool down a bit here in Georgia, which is really nice. But today I'm gonna head to my local Asian market. It's called Great Wall. It's a Chinese market. And I'm gonna try to see if I can find something to chef up for y'all today. All right, I'll see y'all there. Back at the crib. Today, this is what we got. Cuttlefish. All right, let's go. All right, today, this is what we're cooking. Cuttlefish. Yep, today we got a cuttlefish. I've seen these at that market quite a bit, but today's the first time I'm trying it. I mean, it looks a little intimidating, but they're really similar to squid. So yeah, cuttlefish aren't actually fish. They're cephalopods, just like squids and octopuses. So yeah, they're in that family. And they're actually more similar to squids than octopuses. Squids and cuttlefishes have these little like fins that help them swim through the water. And uh, octopus don't have those. So that's a big difference between them. Now they all have eight legs, but the cuttlefish and the squid actually have two tentacles in addition to the eight legs. And they use these to grab food and pull it into their mouths. where they got this little beak. Like it's like a beak, yeah, very hard right here. And they, they use these tentacles, pull food in, and they munch on it in there. Now to tell the difference between a cuttlefish and a squid, the body shapes are a little bit different. Cuttlefish are a little bit more rounder, and squids tend to be more slim. Now just like octopus and squid, this cuttlefish has an ink sac, so you can see a little bit of it just dripping out. But yeah, they use ink in order to get away from predators. They'll spray some ink out and use it as a decoy and run away. And also, just like squids and octopuses, the cuttlefish will change colors in order to camouflage. But are actually colorblind, so that's pretty crazy. Now, that ink they have is edible. It's used in a lot of dishes. There's like a pasta dish, like Italian people, they'll use it in, it's called like black ink pasta or something. So yeah, the ink is edible. People do eat the ink, they say, out of the invertebrates, cuttlefish are among the smartest. They're really good hunters. They eat crabs, shrimp, fish. They'll eat octopus, other cuttlefish, you know, if they can get their hands on them. And they lived for about two years in the wild. Now, there aren't any cuttlefish on the American coast. They're mostly on the coast of Africa and like Europe and Asia. You'll find them. But yeah, they're not too common on the coast of America. Cuttlefish are low in fat and high in protein and a good source of vitamins and minerals. And because they're really similar to squid, a lot of times it's prepared like a squid. 
So you can make calamari with this. And calamari actually means squid in Italian. But you can make deep fried cuttlefish just like calamari. That's a way to make it. And there's also a dish called butter cuttlefish where you saute it in butter. There's many ways to make it. It's a common ingredient in Mediterranean and Asian dishes. Now at that market, they're about, it was about $5 a pound. So I think this was like 10 bucks or so. So this one's about, probably about two pounds. Now it's not super duper duper fresh. You can tell because the eyes aren't super clear, but it is still fresh enough to eat. So today we're gonna make some cuttlefish calamari or some deep fried cuttlefish. We're gonna fry it in some batter and that should be pretty good. And then we're also gonna make some grilled cuttlefish. When I did the research, I didn't see too many grilled cuttlefish recipes, but I know in Japan they do have grilled squid. So we're gonna grill a little bit of it too on the grill, make some grilled cuttlefish. But first, we're gonna clean it. So first things first, they have this hard plate in here. So we're gonna take that out first. It's got like two layers of skin over it. Oh, this one's broken. It must have got smashed, maybe on the boat or something. All right, this is like the bone they got inside of them. It's not really a bone. It's made out of calcium carbonate, but you got a lot of times on the beaches, like in Africa or Asia, you'll find these washed up just because they don't really decompose. So you'll find them kind of like shells on the beach. And next we're gonna cut down this and open the guts. You gotta be very careful not to open the ink sac. Now we're gonna rip this part off the side. Just come along the back and rip. Okay, so it looks like maybe this is the stomach. Yeah, this is definitely the stomach. Let's see what it was eating. Ooh. Maybe fish? Yeah, there's definitely a bunch of fish scales. Probably small bait fish. Normally there's an ink sac in here somewhere, but I think it must've got punctured or something. I'm gonna cut this, throw this away. And now we're gonna clean these two. You gotta be careful with this ink too, because if it gets on your shirt or on a knife, it's really thick and it's hard to get off. Yeah, so just be real careful because the ink is really thick. So just be careful not to get it on your clothes or on your knife because look, my knife's a little dirty now. And that's probably not coming out. So yeah, just be real careful with the ink. All right, next we're gonna separate the fin things, like the, the side fins from the middle piece. The skin right here. Just lay your skin off. Get the rest of this fin. All right, now we got this middle piece. We're gonna take this layer of skin off. All right, we got whatever, I forget what this is called, but this is what we got. We took the skin off this side. I think there's another layer, should be another layer on this side as well. It is very thin layer, but since we're frying it, it should be fine actually. All right, we're gonna cut this to three pieces.
Clean it up a little bit. All right, it's got a little hard part right here. We're gonna cut that off. I'm gonna say it again, I'm a beginner at this. Just going off of what I've seen, but these are good. All right, now the tentacles. First, we're gonna take out the beak. You just flip it out, it should come out. There we go, we got the beak right here. They go like this, and crush prey. All right, we're gonna throw this one away. All right, next we're gonna take the eyes out, make a cut right below them. Right below. All right. And right, next, we're gonna cut these tentacles off. And cut. All right, now we're gonna get some salt and get the rest of the slime off. Just go hard with the salt. And just mix it up. And get the slime remaining slime off and the fresher they are the more slime they have on them same with fish the fresher it is it'll have a good bit of slime on it all right here's all the pieces of this cuttlefish so if you score these it gets more tender is what I've seen online. So yeah, just score the meat. This we're gonna grill, and this we're gonna throw into the calamari, or the fried cuttlefish. All right, for the batter, get a bowl, put the cuttlefish in, one egg, and you're gonna mix that up. Get it nice and coated. And you're gonna put in some cornstarch. The recipe online said five tablespoons. We'll just put in a good bit of the cornstarch. And then it said one tablespoon of flour. All right, and now we're gonna mix it up. All right. And next, we're gonna cut up some garlic. Give it a good smash. Take the skin off. Then we're gonna mince it up. Use the back of your knife, put it in there. Next, green onion. We're gonna wash it. Put up the bottom, throw it away. And now just... All right. We're gonna separate the white, whitish green from the dark green. All right. Here we go. Ara, kyou mo kawaii ne. Kyou mo kawaii ne. Kawaii ne kyou mo umae. じゃあね、今日のご飯は 
よいしょ。ワイフィッシュツナ。ワイトフィッシュツナだよ。うん、お前が食べる。ドン。はい。どうぞーいしょおいしいおいしいおーかわいいなー Got a new walk I haven't seasoned it yet but I'm gonna make a video on my sub channel doing that Got some leftover sunflower oil. All right, we're gonna throw in the squid. I mean the cuttlefish. Okay. It's starting to look a lot like calamari. Hey. All right, we're gonna salt up the squid. I mean, cuttlefish. How many times am I gonna say that? All right, once it's nice and golden brown, we're gonna take them out. Next, we're gonna dump out, dump out most of the oil. But not all of it, keep a little bit. Then we're gonna throw in the garlic and the onions. Mix it up. You don't wanna burn the garlic, so just a really quick. All right, we're gonna throw cuttlefish in. All right, I got a little bit occupied. Let's see how it looks. Oh, not bad. Okay. All right, we're gonna put some salt, some pepper. A dash, a dash, and a little bit of onion powder. Oosh. This looks good. Thank you, cuttlefish, for your life. Okay, let's eat. Okay, man, this looks like some Chinese, something you get from a Chinese restaurant. Let's try this piece right here. Mmm, very chewy, very meaty texture. Mmm. Just like squid, exactly like squid. Very good. Mmm. This is just. It's pretty much. It is calamari. If you told this was someone this was calamari, they wouldn't think twice. I mean, they are pretty much the same animal, but dang. Mmm. Good. Goes good with the rice too. Mmm. Let's try some of this grilled squid. Grilled, dang, how many times am I gonna do that? Grilled cuttlefish. Hard texture, but very good. Hard texture with a very, you know, squid that 
it has that squid flavor it's like a steak this one would also go really good in some soy sauce Mm. Honestly, this one's very similar to the freshwater drum. Oh! Like, if y'all seen that freshwater drum video, like, firm, very firm texture. But yeah, this reminds me just of the, just like the, the freshwater drum texture. Honestly, I don't really eat cuttlefish or squid or octopus that much, but I'm probably about to start because this is so good. All right, now that I've tried everything, I'd like to present my drink. Da -da! And the chef up a mark cup. Oh, that is good. It's my first time eating cuttlefish. It was good, just like squid. Cleaning it and cutting it wasn't too bad. Next time, maybe I'll slow cook it to get a more tender texture. We will see. Y'all too, here and there, try some new foods. It's fun, and there's just so much out there to try. Thanks for watching. Check out my Patreon and check out my cups. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.